guys, I am Donna and this is Budget Friendly Cooking. This is the place where I prepare healthy and tasty food. So if you're looking for something like that, you stick around and I'll share recipes every week. So today we're going to prepare this beautiful striped bass in coconut milk and curry paste. And we're going to serve it with rice noodles. So I was thinking all week what to prepare for this week and I had honestly no idea. And yesterday I went to this Asian market in uh, my town and uh, I saw this beautiful seafood and they have this beautiful um, spicy chili crisp uh, so I decided why not we can make something with that so what we're gonna do with that I'm gonna start cutting the fish okay I thought it would be easy but it's not I sharpened my knife so you can prepare this dish with any kind of fish that you have, like salmon or bronzino or trout, anything. And even with the filet, all right, I have to use my hands here. I should wear gloves, but I forgot. And I'm cutting it in the steak size kind of pieces, little steaks. Okay, okay. I guess it's pretty hard. I didn't expect that. Okay. Okay, that's beautiful. So four nice pieces. That will be perfect. And I'm gonna um, coat it with a little bit of salt and cornstarch to create a little crispy skin. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to my cornstarch because we need to season our um, fish and just lightly coat, okay? If you don't have corn starch, you can always use flour. All right, we're gonna heat our skillet and drizzle a little bit of oil. I have sunflower oil here, about a tablespoon because we need that to fry our fish. And let's make sure that it is nice and hot. So let's wait for a minute or two. All right, our pan is pretty hot, so you can notice like how thin the oil becomes and you see those little lines so that means it's nice and hot so we can start placing our fish in the skillet and they just don't move okay let them get nice and brown and then we can move them around so it's going to take about three four minutes on medium uh, low heat and that's going to give enough time to get them cook inside. Mm -hmm. So they've been cooking for about four minutes. So you can see like the how it changes the color here. So and this part is getting cooked. This is not fully cooked, but this is now it's telling us that it's time to flip them around. And they're nice and beautiful and crispy. That's what we want. Ooh. It's spreading. Oh, look at that color. Woo. Nice. And we're going to cook for about three, four minutes on this side. Okay. All right. That part looks good too. And I just want to kind of fry from those parts, those sides, because we need crispy parts from all sides, right? And that's going to help also like, to cook inside as well. Faster. It's not going to take as long anymore because uh, our skillet is nice and hot and um, the fish is hot so it's going to take about a minute or two from both sides and then they're going to be ready. Oh that looks beautiful. Beautiful. See this is a little extra step but you need to do that. Okay don't be lazy. Another minute or two and we can move them out. I'm going to boil some water now for my rice noodles because I want to cook them first. Okay, our water is boiling. 30 seconds. I'm going to season with a little bit of salt, just one teaspoon, and then add one portion of rice noodles. You can add egg noodles or whatever you have in your pantry, but just because I had rice noodles, I'm going to use rice noodles because I like the texture, it's light, when you eat it's not heavy on your stomach and they are delicious and they absorb the flavor from coconut milk and curry powder and they have perfect combination with that. Alright, they're almost ready. It only takes a minute or two, guys, and I want to 
like undercook a little bit because after I put it in coconut milk, it's gonna um, get cooked more. Just get rid of this water and then I'm gonna add uh, coconut milk. This is about a cup. I don't want to put too much in it and I can add just a little bit of water just to make it nice and thin. Okay, let this boil and meanwhile, just because it has these huge bones and we're going to put them in the sauce, I'm going to take off the bones because that will be easier than to eat, right? You don't have to, but I think it will be better if you get rid of the bones. Oh, these are such a beautiful pieces of uh, striped bass, nice and fresh. They cleaned that for me there, so I didn't have to um, worry about that because I can clean my fish, but it's not a fun part, trust me. I've butchered like 15 pound salmon and it took about an hour. All right, look at that. This is boiling too. And we're going to add a little bit of curry powder. Okay, I can take off my glass now. Okay. All right. A little bit of curry powder, just uh, maybe a teaspoon. If you have ginger, and actually I have ginger, I'm going to add a little bit of ginger. If you don't have, don't worry about it. I always have ginger, so figure why not, right? Okay. And I don't even need to worry about peeling that. Just grate it right in, about a teaspoon. And you can also add turmeric, and I have turmeric, but you don't have to, as I say. It gives nice orange color. Get my turmeric. Okay, just a little bit, you know. Turmeric is a great anti-inflammatory um, spice and seasoning. And I'm gonna add a little bit of hot pepper too because my chili crunch is not <coughs> spicy and I like when it's a little spicy. Also, what will be good in that, lime zest and lime juice at the end. Oh, if I have, I'm gonna add that too. See, I started with like few ingredients and at the end, there are like few more. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna put my fish back in this pot. Oh, that looks beautiful. There you go, and it will absorb all the flavor from coconut milk and uh, curry and ginger and everything. All right. And the sauce is getting nice and thick, meanwhile. Oh, look at that beautiful color. So that's what we need to get, like this consistency. I'll right, get this beautiful color. And lime zest gives this beautiful floral flavor. And I'm gonna add a little juice too, to give a little sour taste and kind of Thai flavors. Oh, that looks fantastic. Oh my God. And then we're gonna add a little bit of chili crunch. You can add more in your bowl. And some uh, herbs. All right, and we're gonna garnish that with cilantro and Thai basil because we need this green color. And of course, it gives this beautiful flavor to our dish and just sprinkle all over your gorgeous dish oh i am so excited doesn't it look pretty <gasps> yes i think it does so we're gonna move it to the bowl and taste it and voila we're done okay guys I'm gonna try now i'm gonna use two forks to move this i honestly will just dig it in the skillet if i was not filming that that's actually enough for two people. If I added more rice noodles, it would be enough for two people. But fish is definitely enough for two or three. I'm gonna add a little chili. Okay. 
because it just looks so pretty and little more herbs in my plate and moment of truth so as I told you this is my new creation I just created yesterday and I did it a different way I had other fish Dorado and I fried it and then made these things separate but um, it was good too so I decided to put everything in the sauce and uh, do this way and it's easy like it took us um, under 20 minutes and it's not expensive like the whole fish cost me like $15 and the rest of the ingredients are probably like under $5 so it's pretty affordable if you're craving something like brothy and like some noodles and some protein so voila mm. Mm, mm, mm. you can add more water or coconut milk right now it absorbed a lot so I would add more liquid to that but if you like it just kind of like noodles then you can just leave as is and let's taste our fish too it's like you you you, you cannot stop which well, is nice and spicy has the flavor of um ginger and lime oh, good good stuff are you gonna try no <laughs> he doesn't want to try <laughs> that was the recipe for today our beautiful striped bass in coconut milk with some rice noodles i hope you enjoyed and i hope you're gonna make it don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next week Bye bye